Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds, and I am back with episode two. Now, I did spend a little bit of time digging out more resources uh, for just so you guys didn't have to <laughs> sit through that nightmare. Uh, I did go around, right clicked a little like you guys were suggesting, went down to the bottom and got enough resources to build this assembler like we were trying to in the first episode. Um, I already built it and then I moved a lot of the resources over. So I have a bunch of uh, uh, iron ingots, silicon, uh, nickel, stuff like that. So we are ready to go. But I do want to update you guys on something here where we actually um, now added a new mod to the system. And this mod is basically for eat, drink, no, eat, sleep, drink, repeat. And basically if you're starting to see this new Actually, I got three new bars on the bottom left, which is sleep, food, and water. We are now going to need to make this a little bit harder, which is by feeding ourselves and sleeping. So hopefully that makes it a little bit more entertaining and a little bit harder on survivability. So it's going to be a little bit more fun. Now, I need to get to, where's that marker? Right there, 178 meters, which is not that far away. But before I could even build anything, I'm stuck with standard generic blocks so there's not much i could do with this generic blocks unless i go and um fix my progression basically or you know progress through the game now uh we did get new blocks because of the eat sleep uh eat drink sleep repeat and we got this new emergency ration production unit and also um i added another add-in i'll link everything down below where you could kill wolves which i will activate soon um and also um you can cook and drink cola and all that stuff to replenish all the food and drinks and stuff. Um, I I could probably make a kitchen too to cook the meat. I don't know how that works yet, but supposedly you can because I do have that mod on as well. So it's two mods, basically the eat, sleep, um, drink, repeat, and also another mod for just more food. And I could actually grow stuff too. Uh, I do have seeds. Or organics and you get them from grass so I, as long as you start digging into these you will get grass now I'm gonna start by kind of just this assembling this um, this vehicle I don't want to go too much but we do need some stuff what I'm gonna show you right now it's pretty interesting well if you guys played this long enough you probably know uh, first if we take apart the landing gear we're going to get the resources back for it. All right. And I'm going to see double check. I'm going to get iron motor and stuff like that. Reweld this. And there you go. Building landing gears unlock new blocks. So now if I go into G, I get more blocks like wheels and a few other things that come along with that progression. So it's not too hard to unlock progression uh, as long as you have the respawn pod. But it is still a nuisance. Look, I have my jetpack on and I can't even jump up there. Oh, you know what? I gotta get rid of these. Let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. I do have to get back into the seat. All right. Let me see if I could do this. There you go. Um, I do need to get these seeds out or I'm gonna lose them. I think. Ah, oh, crap. That sucked. Let's try that again. There you go. Get in here. Take the seat down. Just enough. Uh, okay. That actually did not unlock anything. Ah, oh, crap. Did not want to do that. Oh. Oh, made it on the first try. Okay, what I want to get rid of, next one, is this hydrogen. Rebuild it. Oh, I can't rebuild this yet because I got to rebuild something else. Um, what did I have to do? I don't need this. Let's steal some resources from that. The beacon is not needed. I can rebuild that. I unlock new blocks. Still don't have that research yet. Uh, parachute... Do I have small um, cargo? I do have small cargo, right? Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need the parachute hatch either, but let's see if I rebuild it. Do I get something back? No. Man, I haven't done progression in so long. I don't remember what works and what doesn't. 
So let's. Oh, I didn't want to get rid of that. I was gonna build that. Um, I think I have to do one of the thrusters. No, I have to research it first. Uh, what do I have to do? I think I have to make a cockpit. And the cockpit will unlock other stuff. I think. So let's see if I could build this cockpit out. Oh, I actually might have enough stuff. I need five displays. That's easy enough. I could do five displays over here. Okay. And... 12 computers. Oh, I made 13 by accident. Okay. There you go. Now I unlock new blocks, which is, yes, the thrusters. I needed to make the cockpit to get the thrusters up. Technically, I should leave that there because I could use this build to fly over there. Now, can I build a gyro? I can. Let's build a gyro. Whoops. Gyro, small grid, and we'll throw that into our build planner. And I think it's can't withdraw, so it's shift middle click to have it process that. And I think I can make everything here. Do I have enough materials? I do. I have plenty of materials. So now that I'm done with that, come on. Almost had it. Um, I'm trying to move up a little. Come on, there you go. In here, there's usually enough room just so you can fit the gyro. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, gyro. Drop that into my... Oh, I already had it. And we'll do that for now. Just enough space to do that. So... Now that I have everything I need, I could move over to that space and start building out over there. But first, um, should I finish up the ship since I have the assembler and some parts? Huh, I probably should. I probably should do that. I'm going to have to build out the ship anyway. So might as well just do that. Am I flying? I am flying. I can't tell when my thrusters are on or not. Um, what we need right now is the landing gear. We need this to be changed. Actually, I could keep this. I could change that. All right, let's take off some stuff first. I'm planning this ship out, so there's a way to turn this into... Oh, come on. You know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm done trying to play this. I'll play around with this. There you go. Even that, I, I have a problem getting on. Okay, so what I need here is a small little block, so I could put something here later in the future. Uh, this I don't need, so I want to have a metal grid from that. Uh, the gyro should be placed. Do I have enough inventory for this? I do. The gyro should be placed somewhere here. This way it's out of the way. Now I need to make tubes, no, nope, not tubes, uh, conveyors. See, I do need to like get rid of this. What do I have to do to make conveyors first? Do I have to make a small cargo? Character tools, I kind of got rid of that by accident. Yep, I did need to make, uh, <clears throat> Yep, I did need to make conveyor tools. Uh, what I need to do now is all blocks, conveyor. Let's use the standard conveyor ones. Where is it? Just Where's the plus arrow? There you go, the small one. Let's trap that in here. Let's do these two. Good thing it doesn't take much. And then now I could put my cockpit 
I needed to put that so I could place stuff down. And I need to push it in as much as possible. And let's try to change this to a blue theme, red theme. Red looks pretty good. Let's just do red. So I added the conveyors to match up with the cockpit. This way, um, when I mine with the front port, it'll automatically go to the survival pod. And now that we have our vehicle with the gyro and the jetpacks, we could start moving stuff around. Um, do I have... Let's do this. Yeah, I could do this. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is actually going to remove one of these thrusters because we don't need four thrusters. I'm just trying to save myself. I'll rebuild it later on for more thrusters, but for now we don't need uh, four thrusters. Three is enough, but this gravity might be a little bit different. What I'm doing right now is just kind of cleaning up and adding thrusters in. Let's do large. No, where's the small one? Large atmospheric. Uh, small atmospheric. I thought it was another section, but let's do everything red. It's going to look pretty cool because I have one thruster already. That's one. I need to do another one here. Another one in the back and another one in the front. Technically, I could um, fly this right now, like helicopter mode. Uh, just rely on the gyro, tilt the ship in a certain way. Uh, and then I could still get to the location that I want. But I'm eventually going to build this ship anyway to be... A miner so I'm gonna have to install these thrusters anyway so might as well take the time now since I have the assembler built and the resources to do it um, and build it out so I have these slots open all I need is three more thrusters let's see how much I can build right now because since I have the metal grids I don't need let's do this now I remember what it was there you go Got this motor up and going. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, thrusters are so annoying with this mod on. You can't really go up. So I need uh, more motors. Three more motors for this one. There you go. And then the last one, I need to put a thruster up there. And then this is complete flying machine. All right, the only thing I'll be missing is two construction components, actually uh, five construction components and 17 motors. So production, one, two, three, four, five. And I'll grab the motors for now. 17, so eight, I need, let's do 10 anyway. I'm gonna always need motors. There you go. Popped in the wrong things. Oh, luckily I went down and dug up enough materials because grabbing a lot of these materials for motors takes a lot of time and just doing what I'm doing right now would have killed me if I had to keep mining and everything. Luckily I spent the time to do it at night. That's what I'm saying. Or you guys would have been bored and probably dropped out already. Okay. So what we would need now is to unlock all these thrusters. Turn them back on, show HUD, show in terminal block, don't show in HUD. Uh, then interior lighting, you could turn these off. I don't need them. Those are the two light bulbs on the outside. Actually, you know what? I'll do that, but turn off the uh, blinking. Then landing gear, landing gear. Show on terminal. And I'm going to group these two to be landing gear. And I think that is about it. Then press G, groups, landing gear. I'll pop over here so I could do switch lock. And let's see, that looks pretty good. All right, so uh, we are basically ready to fly. Um, let me grab all this stuff, drop it in here. Okay, 
anything that this could hold, which is like something like this, I'll leave it in here. See, like it can't hold certain things, but it could hold the standard blocks like large cylinders it can't do, but motors it can. So I'm going to leave those stuff in here. The other stuff I am going to put into the cockpit so I don't have to carry anything. I am going to break this down now. Because I don't need it here right now. Grab all the materials that I just have and throw them here. Now, it's going to be a nightmare to climb up there. So, if I don't kill myself, maybe I could do this. Let's come on, let that settle a little. Let that settle a little. There you go. All right. We are ready to make our voyage to the next location. I should have just did shift middle click. I mean the control middle click to deposit. Alt middle click to deposit everything. I wasn't even thinking. All right. So eight to unlock. Now I could fly. Oh, look at that. It's not great because the gravity is pretty high, but it's going to give me enough to get my base over. My radar is picking up silicon, cobalt, perfect. All right, this will be my home sweet home for a while now. Is there anything to look at? Is this any... This is a pretty good view of a mountain. Wow, I could see all the planets. Maybe eventually we'll go. All right, let's get started on this uh, new base right now. And we will convert this into a workhorse a little bit later, maybe in a future episode. But for now, uh, I'm a little nervous with leaving everything inside here. So I'm just going to grab whatever I can to start building what I need. Um, luckily for us... Hmm, what base, what color should my base be? Maybe a white, a really white one? A red? Maybe a red base. Let's start with here. Kind of off to the side a little bit. I can still see the silicon. It's right on us. We could get everything that we need. I kind of want, wait, do I have stairs? I don't have stairs yet. What do I need to do to unlock stairs? Because that's what's something I would like to have. Uh, for now, I am going to have a ladder. No ladder yet either. How do I unlock ladder? Progression. Let's see. I haven't checked this in so long. Uh, railing, stairs. This is exactly what I need. I just need to make one of these. Oh, I could do that. Let's drop this down. Have everything I need to create this. Unlock this. Then I could do staircase. There you go. There's this other mod that I was thinking about adding, which is anything that you grind will turn into scrap metal, which extremely hard to play. I've seen that before. Oh man, these thrusters look cool. Um, but it means you can't just break apart stuff. It makes it like extremely hard to like play. Um, interior plate 16, small tube set 12, construction component 22. Wow, these staircases take a lot. What about ladders? Ladders is, I can't make steel tubes unless I make the assembler. Because this thing doesn't make steel tubes. So, okay, for now we're gonna have to keep the assembler on the ground, which is fine. I guess I'm, I'm gonna have to do this anyway. Put some steel plates into this thing and then we'll grab the rest. Wow, that's a lot of steel plates that I have. Uh, here you go. I need construction components and computers four displays and 10 motors. Okay, good. Got this going. Now we're gonna have to make a makeshift stairs in a sense. 
uh, because stairs is very expensive. Can I just jump on that? Yeah. So I could kind of use this steel plates to go up this way. Oh, uh, this reminds me of Minecraft trying to get to the off to the side without falling. This is like some serious skill. All right, kind of makeshift thing. Let's go get my uh, wind turbine, drop that in here. And then I do a control middle click to pull the components. I'll go up there and build it out. Yeah, that's quite annoying. Having to drop off all the blocks this way. Nice. Now I get rid of this block. And I still have the staircase to go up if I ever need to do any maintenance. But I should have enough power to run the basic assembler. Okay. So my problem now is not the... Well, this base looks ugly. It's not the problem with the base. Uh, I need to get some food going on because my water generation is um, a little bit low. So can I drop this here for now? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave the stuff in here for now because I don't want to carry it around. But... I do need to do some emergency rations. I think that's the new thing. Um, oh, I could grow stuff here too. So let's do eat, sleep, drink. And the next thing is emergency production unit. Which doesn't cost that much. Looking at... Oh, it's only for small grid. So technically, I could put it on the survival pod for now. Anyway, you know what? I am going to leave this off for the next episode because now we moved our base, got everything all set up. Technically, we only moved about 120, 170 meters over, but we are near the spot that we want to be in, which is silicon and cobalt. We got our base set up, and this is going to be um, kind of the design I want. In a sense, uh, I want to go up, and I want to build some sort of habitation center up here that looks over the mountains. So I kind of like this setup right now, but we do have to worry about the food because my drink, water and food is getting low. Water definitely getting low. So I need to use that emergency ration somehow or figure out how to use the emergency ration so I could get something to eat. Um, otherwise, um, we're off to a pretty good start. Uh, on my next episode, I don't know what I want to do yet first, but I do need to get material. So I might have to modify the ship. I have to get some food going on. Uh, I have to get some base going on. I have to get more power coming in. I have to build out a vehicle so I could travel. Um, yeah, lots of stuff coming on. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you guys got any questions or anything you want to ask, hit it down in the comments below because I really enjoyed the last video's comments. It was great. So it just motivates me to want to play even more. Anyway, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.